Hello fellow Expanse lovers, I would like to welcome you to another project that I do and this time we will take a look at the Donarger class or more particularly the Donny itself. Now Donager was always my love, it was the best ship in the series, uh, well most powerful ship in the series and I really loved the design. Unfortunately, uh, in the series itself, it wasn't featured that prominently and uh, basically all the shots we have are of the Donny itself and few of the other ships, but they weren't that, uh, that extent. Uh, there wasn't that many good scenes of those exterior, exterior shots. So in this case, I had to improvise and uh, I, a part of a uh, taking a look at those. I also took a very good look at the model by Alstro, uh, as you can see here uh, on uh, Sketchfab, uh, and uh, I uh, basically uh, use it as a visual reference and uh, study it quite, extens quite extensively uh, for various details and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, check it out, it's a very beautiful model and Austro did exceptional work. Anyway, I think uh, you would be interested in see uh, what I came up with, so here we are. So this is my uh, Donager class or the Donny itself model. First things first, uh, because I am kinda struggling with a free space in my living room, I had to downscale it a little bit. First, I wanted to uh, wanted it be to to be at least 60 centimeters to be really big, but unfortunately, that's not possible for me. Thus, the overall length of the model is only 35 centimeters. Yeah, that's kind of bummer, but um, that's what it is. Anyway, it looks like this. Unfortunately, the ship doesn't have any features. Unlike the Rosinante, which is packed with features, the only feature this ship has is that theoretically you can rotate the rail guns, and that's it. Yeah, uh, it's. Uh, let down, I know, but that's cause uh, the ship is... Yeah, it's let down, I know, but that's cause the ship is rather small, you know, 35 centimeters is not that big. As you can see, I have it already with the stand, I designed rather a crude and simple stand uh, with the name and my logo. So I guess we can now get rid of it and take a look at this beauty itself. Now it's done in exactly the same manner as all my ships or all my models. So we will now take a look. Yeah, we have uh, one piece with various holes for pins and as you can see, it is full of them. Then we do have a second part, which is basically a mirror part of this, only with the hole for the stand. Now the second set of pins, and now we will attach the sides. So first this side, and then this side. Now, the back itself, uh, it has various holes that goes to those five pegs. And basically, it holds uh, those four pieces together as well. Okay. Now, we have this section and that is once again made out of several pieces. Yeah, so once again we have the pins, 
those are the standard 10x10 10 10 pins which I, now, which I now use uh, almost exclusively. Yeah, one side, and now to those specs we put the other side. Once again pin to the front. Now we will insert the entire front piece, like this. One railgun, which is now here. Second railgun, which is now here. Now the rail systems, yeah, which is here, and uh, now the rail system will be printed separately because uh, otherwise we would have to have the. Um, supports and I don't want to have them okay and now the engines and of course uh, last thing here we have a holes for antennas uh, now we will take a look at the engines because they are their separate subassembly so yeah this is the engine subassembly and as you can see it has four packs so it will be inserted into the main body but we have it divided into a half with three packs for as you guessed three pins i said three packs no i meant three holes for three packs then we will have a mirror part which snap together then a back part and finally the driving cone itself and it will all fit together and hold together really nicely and then we will simply insert them into those packs which are here 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 and here here yeah and that's it yeah we also have the the stand so yeah this is this is the model so yeah i know featureless but still i think it will be nice model anyway that will be about it uh, in the next video we will actually print it and assemble it together Okay, I hope you liked it and we will see each other in the next video. Have a very nice day and bye bye.